Hello, Westchester. I uh, went to a gypsy fortune teller. She told me I'd be rich and famous in two years. I gave her a 20 and she made it two weeks. Oh, yeah. I can't watch West Wing. Come on, a show about a fake presidency? Hey, we already have that in Washington. And this is not a real war. This is Sega! If you really want to destroy Iraq, equip, and Iran too, let's get rid of them at the same time, equip 100 PlayStation 2 teenagers with nukes, and it'll be done faster than you can say Grand Theft Auto. Ah, mm. uh, I don't understand Bush, but there's one man who sure does. Mm -hmm. I like George W. Mm -hmm. I like the way he talk. Mm -hmm. Subliminal. Yeah. You know, I'd rather have Sling Blade as president. At least there'd be no pretense that our president is a retard. Maybe that's why Billy Bob, uh, his marriage broke up. He couldn't help but, you know, slip into Carl when they're in the bed. Uh, Angela Jolene, you ought not to call my private ding-dong that. Mm, some people like to call it a field penis. Mm -hmm. I like to call it a sling-dong. Mm, fuck me now. Mm -hmm. Love doing that, folks. Now it's time for you to phone in and make your peace. So dial me up and tell me what's your What's your beef? Uh -huh. What's your beef? 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 Well, what's your beef? What? Your... I cannot even say the word. And now, your host, Hollywood Zone, Frank Cromer. Hey, here we are live. We got an audience of two people. It's fantastic here. Uh, today with me, my co-host today is Todd McCool. I know he's around here somewhere on the set, and I sure we'll find him. Ah, jeez! Hey! Man, How's nice. it going, Frank? Hey, really good there, Todd. You've grown. He's really taken on a little chroma key effect for you people that uh, expect something good on Friday night at Channel 34. You're not going to get it! <laughs> no, we got a great show tonight. Uh, Todd uh, just uh, had the first chance to play a virgin night out. First time ever doing solo. How was that? How'd you like that? It was great. They popped my cherry real good down at uh, Sherman Oaks Lounge. It was really cool. And uh, I think it's like Van Nuys. You know where all the car places are? Keys, right. keys, keys, keys on Van Nuys. Right. Yeah. So uh, It was a lot of fun. It was really cool. Now, now, first time being in front of an audience, did it help that you had performed here once before or not? Oh, definitely. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that was the key to my success. Yeah. That'll when be the key to my stardom. Have an audience of two people that definitely. breaks you in. That's what it's all about. All right, so we got a great show today. we got somebody that they're going to, aren't they going to flip out over this guest? I mean, they've seen him on their TV, and now we're bringing him so they can actually call in and talk to him. Absolutely. That's amazing. But first, we have a new feature on the show. Um, Todd, tell everybody where I happen to live. Koreatown. Right, where the dogs are scares and uh, the cats, well, you know what the Korean for cat is? Hmm. Entree. Anyway, <laughs> it's so easy, sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, we have a new feature called uh, Beef on the Street, and uh, why don't we take a look at my little neighborhood called Koreatown. You gotta love it, folks, gotta love it. Hi, I'm Norm, and today on What's Your Beef, we're counting couches in Koreatown. Let's see how many we can find, shall we? One, two! So, within a one mile radius, we found 11 couches in Koreatown. Tune in next time when we count corpses in Compton on What's Your Beef. I'm your host, Norm. We'll see you next time. Komato Mida. Woo! That's right, folks. If you need a couch, come on down to Koreatown. We're dealing. Come on, on every corner. We got kennels and cafeterias and couches on every corner. That's for you, babe. 
Anyway, that's an interesting neighborhood, and it is true. If you need furniture, people just drive to that area. You'll find something nice. Good stuff there. Right, Dot? Definitely. Uh, and now, our first guest and our only special guest today, um, rather than tell you about this huge <laughs> talent that I would liken to John Belushi and John Candy, not just because they're large, because mm. they're just fabulous talents, uh, rather than tell you who he is, uh, let's just take a look, because uh, you're going to recognize him. He's all over your TV, folks. and. Uh, we're going to take a look at him right now. Here we go. He says we're like two trees, and like my tree needs to grow more or something like that. What is that? It's my Jack hat. So they think I'm Jack. It works. I just ordered a combo meal, and when I asked for seasoned curly fries instead of regular fries, I got them. No extra charge, because I'm Jack. Because of the hat. Doofus, they're swapping curly fries for free for anyone. They don't think you're Jack. And how come they gave me his paycheck? who I'm standing next to. <laughs> hey, look who's sitting next to me, Mr. Jorge <laughs> Garcia. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Hey, so how do you feel a uh, live setting? Have you had a chance to do much live TV? Uh, no, this is pretty exciting. All right. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> so you wanted to take some calls when we get a chance? Yeah, why not? It's All right, well, let's do this. I know I'm throwing a l little early, but let's go ahead and show them the graphics so that they can be starting to wait online because they're going to all want to know, you know, how did you get the gig? What's your deal? That's good. It works right there on the phone, the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure we get plenty of close-ups. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, we, I guess we can change that. In graphics. case you don't know, I'm yeah. live. <laughs> he's totally live, and he's branded. <laughs> anyway, we'll work on that, but folks, you can be calling in soon. Uh, tell us now, you're an actor. Um, what, what about, how'd you get the commercial? The commercial, I, they just they they called me in basically, and I and they had these uh, they we did it with party hats in the office. And um, oh, that reminds me of something. You know what? Um, just in case our people haven't figured out who you were in the commercial, um, here, go ahead, throw it. To, <laughs> there we go. That's the deal right there. Nice. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to wear it for the whole show, but I mean, if we're gonna make it look stupid, <laughs> I'm the one in the hat. There you yes, go. Folks. There you go, folks. We found that earlier, and I thought, well, let's use that prop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you got to go in and uh, how many, are you sitting in front of the director and whatnot? No, that, the callback was the director. Well, I did it, they put you on videotape and then they go show it to people and then they decide that, uh, you know, who are they going to bring back. And when you come back and then you get to meet the director, which is cool because the director is the voice of Jack. I mean, Dick said he, he's like, he does the voice for like all those, the whole series of uh -huh. all the Jack commercials. So, uh, but he doesn't actually put the head on. No, it's got a guy. A guy is actually named Jack who wears the head. His real name is Jack. It's pretty creepy, and uh, um, and so yeah, Dick. It, what he was saying because like there was like an attitude behind mine. He said he didn't get it from anyone else. It was like something like almost like I was making my friends wrong that they didn't have hats on. So I was like, all right, I'll just give you more of that then, you know. So was it really obvious when you got the script that hey, this is just attitude. I'm doing it. I I I, I guess because. Uh, it seemed like a lot of people weren't quite getting that because when I went in, he actually showed us a take that he said, this is kind of like what they want. But I was like, well, I'm... Were gonna, you inspired seeing the take? I'm going to do my own thing anyways, you know. Okay, so I you already figured, had the attitude. I just go, I'm just going to do it this way. And if they like it, that's fine. And then if not, you know, that's fine too. I, you know, I got my way of doing my shtick. Because people know. know, you're going to hear no a lot as an actor, so why should you, you know, really care other than just giving it the best you can? So yeah. when, you, when you came for the callback, what did you do different that really impressed them? Uh, I don't know. I, I gave them more of the same. I'm, maybe I turned it up a little bit more. Mm. But uh, basically, I, know, I just kind of, he goes, that's what he liked. I was like, all right, here you go. I'll give you more of that, sir. And... Uh, so then you went there to the set to do it, and uh, how long did that take to actually shoot, which turns out to be a 30-second spot? How long? We finished before lunch, which is pretty cool. Uh, but did we did lots of takes. What was that? Did you guys eat Jack in the Box for lunch? <laughs> we did not. <laughs> no <laughs> Jack in the Box for lunch, thank catered, God. Man. I mean, <laughs> you got to be glad. But let me tell you, the Jack in the Box in the commercials, when they got it all set up, uh -huh. it's the most beautiful set of Jack in the Box food you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> It'll never be served like that. I mean, that. you're like, oh, it, like the cheese is laid perfect. You know, oh, it's yeah. like really nice and <laughs> There's got to be uh, somebody that's actually spraying the food and making it just... Oh, no, but the food we were allowed to eat. You know, there was people there who was cooking Jack in the Box food. Oh, awesome. So they constantly bring fresh ones, you know, like the guy's holding a really huge curly fry. Yeah. It's like <laughs> they picked out like the perfect one for him to be holding and holding it the whole time, <laughs> sitting there with it. 
and um, and we do it a lot. And sometimes just to get it shorter, or, you know, try and fill the the space of the thirty second spot, right? Right, because you've got to hit that thirty seconds. Yeah, exactly. So some lines would have to get changed or moved around and fixed, and uh, and again and again and again, it was good because at one point the director comes over and says, "Listen, no one's allowed to laugh because we're shooting here, but I just gotta <laughs> just want you to know." What you're doing is very funny, so just keep doing it. You're doing okay, you know. So it's kind of good to have that little uh, assurance from. Uh, and and when you're guy. when you're seen in public and people recognize you, do they ask you to do a certain line, or what do they, what do they want from you, your fans? Uh, they tend to like to do my lines to me. Okay. <laughs> or they'll do. They they really like like the woman at the end, or she's guess who I'm standing next to. They like they'll do that one. Or the other one is uh, where's your hat. I get that pretty much uh, <laughs> a lot. Mm -hmm. And you don't... Like, actually... you take it home with you yeah. at the end of the day. You get all your stuff. Now, um, yeah, when you actually go into a... Do you uh, frequent... I'm sure you do frequent your... Uh, that Jack, Jack in the Box. Yeah, you do, don't well, you? Right? Well, I've, uh, I, I, I'm no stranger to... Okay, <laughs> so when you, Jack to, in the box. when you happen to wander in there, but I, do you get a certain kind of respect there going... You know, I, since the commercial started running... I've only gone through drive through once, and it was late at night, and I don't know if they were totally figuring out who I was. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't really know. During, like, I, and, and that was uh, now that it's kind of, you know, they're, they're running, like, Chipotle or something now. So yeah, it's yeah. kind of like... Something nobody can say. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole premise. And so uh, I've been, um, that's when I started going. I didn't go at all during the, uh, the time that it was running. I don't know. It just kind of felt... No, weird. all wrong, <laughs> you know, <laughs> incestuous, yeah, or, or either that or going incestuous. to like. It also felt weird to go to any fast food though, because. But you did get your food for free, right? Well, I'm <laughs> that came with it, right? They paid you and said, "Eat as much <laughs> as you want." <laughs> Special card, <laughs> the Jack guy. Yeah. Uh, look, I'd like to do this. Go close on him, and then let's, because I, I want, I want to see another one of these Jack commercials. So give us something that you know. Implore your, come on, close. Give him a tight one, yeah. And then just play it to the camera, and then uh, let's hear. Give us some of that guy, and why they should. You should be. You want the same guy? You want you want, you want the lines from that? Or no, want, I want like, you to give me an ad lib right or? now, the way you would do it if well, you. Well, I had this great idea of, of a follow-up ad where, uh, with the hat on, he makes it to Jack in the Box corporate. Right. And gets into Jack's office itself, and just starts kind of like going through his stuff. And he's like calling his buddies up and going, "Dude, I'm in his office." <laughs> you know? They're believing you know? it. <laughs> and then at the moment he just suddenly gets bored and then he starts really running the company. Like, I don't know, he invents a sandwich or he comes up with n another gimmick, kind of like that fries deal or something. And then he gets caught by Jack. And there's a moment when everyone goes, uh uh. And then Jack stands for a moment and he goes, It's like I'm looking in a mirror. There you go. That's the first I want to do. That's next. perfect. Yeah. We got See that, that people. <laughs> There it is. He can turn it on, turn it off. Ideas. That's where I belong. <laughs> he's not just an actor. He's a writer. That's great. But I do want to show uh, the other. Uh, you got such uh, a good range. Uh, we have a clip of uh, a show that proves you to be the new Vin Diesel. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you're the new flavor Vin Diesel. <laughs> and it comes about from this parody of The Fast and Furious <laughs> in which Mr. Garcia here played a uh, Vin Diesel character. Vin Diesel-esque. Very yeah. Uh, yeah. I think you got the core of the character in a little parody called The Slow and the Curious. Which cautious. The Cautious. Okay, sorry. Slow no and the Cautious. Let's take a look at this fine acting ability. One race, two large buy in, winner takes all. I don't have the cash, but I have the pink slip in my ride. Great. Yeah. So my mother has told me. Senior ride. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I don't want the piece of shit. He's treating me pretty well. I want too large. Well, too large it is. And 45 second ride. It's starting to get kind of serious. Hey, sweet tits, you want in? What's important to you? Well, if I win, I want the respect. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, in some circles, that means more. Let's go for the ride. Okay, let's. For that 
45 seconds. I'm free. You live your life a quarter mile at a time. Do it! You see that, Vin? I got you. I'm coming to you next. Got you, Vin. You're next, man. Vin's going down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you have to get a stupid name. I mean, his real name is something really common, and then he made it Vin Diesel and kicked in. So, yeah. Did anybody say anything well, about changing a, a, a your na name? A name or? like Vin Diesel, you jump out of airplanes. You know? that's, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a tough guy name. Yeah, you were telling me you were about, thinking about doing another parody, uh, some kind of similar thing to Triple X. Yeah. Uh, we won't give a, well, go ahead, tell the title, because this copyrights it when you Oh, it does? Oh, cool. It. We had this idea of doing a triple XL for the, um, <laughs> <laughs> Kind of a size <laughs> thing. Yeah. And I suggested maybe instead of you being an ex-con like Vin is in the movie, you're an ex-porno star, hence the triple X. And, yeah. you know, anyway. <laughs> to show your range, I want though, my mom to see these someday. For yeah. True, and that's the end of my dirty mouth. Uh, but, but I am going to add that even though you haven't done porno, you have been in Heather Locklear's mouth. And we have the proof. When you appeared on Spin City, we're going to take a look at that clip right now and talk about it. Folks, call in soon, though, will you? We're getting tired of waiting. But anyway, let's take a look right now. Spin City. Can I come in? Well, this is a surprise. <laughs> And don't you worry about my needs. I just want to give you the most pleasure possible. If you insist. <laughs> well, buddy, that'll be six seventy-five. That'll be six seventy-five. Thanks, but I'll take my tip in cash. You know what you're missing. <laughs> All right, yeah. there we go. Another <laughs> fine performance. <laughs> Did you have any good Charlie Sheen stories you can give us at this point? Or? Charlie Sheen's a cool guy, very shy. He was like, uh, we're sitting in the cab a long time while they're setting the stuff up. Uh, not, it, you you got to kind of break the ice yourself. But then once you get that, he'll warm to you, and then you sit and you talk for a while. Because it was just... We're just sitting there in this cab in this middle of the studio pretending that we're in this car where they're setting all the stuff up. So he was really cool, really nice guy, and just kind of we started, you know, sharing stories, telling, you know, shooting the shit, stuff like that. So you can know, you give us one of his stories that we... Well, he was... He was he oh, he, yeah, you know, he didn't divulge the, the, the good stuff. Okay. Uh, you know, you know... You only got just to met him talk to day. a day player conversation. Yeah. You know, the tricky is, is, the, is the rehearsals for that scene, you know. A lot of Charlie kissing. It was just. Uh... Ba dum ba. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Folks. All right. Yeah. It's not the same with uh, out a huge audience. Something about an audience of two that just <laughs> really. Yeah, one of them was you, and now you're up here. So it's like, we're down like to a one. comedy firecracker, you know. <laughs> right. Just like we're waiting on these phone calls, which we're gonna take sometime soon. Now, this is funny though. The way you have that thing, it looks like you were in a zone here. You, people can't drive their car next to you with the little <laughs> yellow hat. The winter beef thing. <laughs> no, the ye your yellow oh, cone yeah. there. It's construction, folks. Move around us. Okay. Well, we're waiting on that first call. I'm sure one of you people out there that has cable could at least pick up the phone and call. You're not that stoned, are you? I know it's Friday night and the holiday season and all that. But anyway, we got more stuff to show you. 
Uh, Todd, did you have a question for Mr. Garcia here? Yeah, I was thinking <laughs> I right now. I will put the pressure in, Todd. There he is. Actually, uh, I, I do have a question. All right, what do you got? Um, you know, among your great performance on the Jack in the Box commercial, <laughs> I was, uh, I thought it was really funny the line that the guy used right at the beginning where he said, so she says I'm like a tree and I need to grow more or something right. like that. Who, was that like a line that one of you guys made up or was that a pre-written line? No, that was Mike. Mike, Mike would say something different every time I sit down at that table. Oh, really? And it was always something about his breakup that's kind of coming. Uh-huh. This eminent breakup. And it just started getting more and more weird and obscure. And he starts <laughs> talking about, she's like, first, I think it kind of went from like how she's a vegetarian into the fact that now she's like this, you know, tree hugger and we're like these two trees and the moving <laughs> forest. And he'd say all these different things. And then I'd start cracking up because as soon as I'd get ready for something, for him to say it, I'd psych myself up to go, okay, he's going to say something like this. He uh, change it and he'll say something else and just completely right. blow my cool. It was very funny. It was very cool. That's great. But that's why it was a that's good all set because you had fun. Yeah, and he couldn't believe that they kept it in. He was like, you know, I couldn't believe that the tree line actually made the commercial. He yeah. thought it was going to start like just, but they kept it. It was good. It was yeah, funny. no, I thought it was great. And that's what great made line. it real too, I think, more Absolutely. realistic. So um, speaking of realism, you're acting. Now we're going to play a piece now that I think is like the pinnacle of your I mean, it's got to be the hardest part to play, Jesus. <laughs> um, we have a clip of you doing uh, the second coming of Jesus, just as if, <laughs> as if he were a, an Elvis kind of character, and maybe the same girth, I'm not certain. But uh, let's take a look at that, and then uh, hear your thoughts on playing uh, our king. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you who don't know me, my name is Jesus. About uh, 2,000 years ago, made a little name for myself, and now we're back, strong as ever. Gonna do a lot of your old favorites tonight. I don't want to give anything away, but I hope you're hungry. You know, fish sandwiches on the menu tonight. All right. So, we'll be right back. Reach out, touch, pay. So a lot of people ask me, Jesus, what does the H stand for? <laughs> He's got it! Wow, baby! Because I have that power. <laughs> yes, I love you. Yes, I love you. Yes, I love you. Love Jesus, Woo! coming to Las Vegas wow. soon. I do hear we do have a caller. Let's say hello to the caller. Hello, caller. Uh, yeah, hey, uh, I just wanted to say uh, to uh, Jesus, was it Jorge? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was uh, pretty good, that Jesus thing there. <laughs> <laughs> if Jesus looked like that, I'd be in church on Sunday. <laughs> like the type of guy I could, you know, drink and hang out with. Yeah, <laughs> well, tell him why Jesus uh, put on a little weight. Oh, yeah, the premise was I was saying that because uh, he just... Recently quit smoking, and which just <laughs> tends to uh, result in a bit of weight gain. Okay, I got it. I got you. Did you recognize yeah. him from the commercial, though? Yeah, I remember the commercial. Did you like that? Yeah, I liked that. I wanted to ask, did you ever get on any of the girls in that, you know, on the set of that? <laughs> it was a lot of, you know, a lot of lobbers. Good question. Did you make it with the, you know, the woman the at the extras, end? You know? Thanks for calling, too. I want to thank you. Uh, well, it's like, you think, you know, uh, some people, sometimes friends think that once you're on TV, uh, women getting women is real easy, but there's kind of a certain level of criteria, and I don't know. Being the Jack guy, there's just a certain 
<laughs> yeah. You know. Not there yet. <laughs> it isn't quite. You, get, you, get, you don't get all the perks of being a celebrity, <laughs> but you still can't, like, pick your nose in your car anymore. So it's Yeah, like, but I bet you that, that Jesus thing would kill. You're going to yeah, have well, some disciples, my friend, and we're yeah, talking flesh here. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but I do want to thank you for coming on, Jorge. Uh, our friend Todd is going to play us off here while he straps on his guitar. Uh, you want to tell people about what, where they can see you next on the street, wherever? Or <laughs> yeah, you might catch me walking around. Uh, I don't have any actual uh, gigs coming up in, in the near future, but... Uh, but I bet you those Jack in the Box guys are going to realize the talent and make a whole thing around you. Yeah, and they got me doing some kind of like kids uh, field trip to that office. I'm going to then pop in going, hey kids, it's, it's Jack guy. Thanks. Kids gotta love you. Thank Let's you see. so much for being on the show. Hey man, it was a lot of Hang fun. Hang in here. And uh, right now, the sounds of Mr. Todd McCool. Thanks everybody for watching. Now All groove right. on this. Just too far It's like the universe